When I learn of incidents such as the massacre of millions of men, women, and children perpetrated by the Nazis in World War II, how is it possible, I ask myself, that ordinary people who are courteous and decent in everyday life can act callously, inhumanely, without any limitations of conscience? Now, there are some studies in my discipline, social psychology, that seem to provide a clue to this question. I the problem I wanted to study was a little different, it went a little bit further. It was the issue of authority. Under what conditions would a person obey authority who commanded actions that went against conscience? These are exactly the questions that I wanted to investigate at Yale University. It is May 1962. An experiment is being conducted in the Elegant Interaction Laboratory at Yale University. The subjects are 40 males between the ages of 20 and 50 residing in the greater New Haven area. Psychologists have developed several theories to explain how people learn. One theory is that people learn things correctly whenever they get punished for making a mistake. Forty years later, Milgram's infamous experiment, Obedience, is still taught in classrooms around the world. All right, teacher, would you take the test and be seated in front of the shock generator, please, in the next room? But the experiment was rigged. The victim was an accomplice of the experiment. The victim, according to plan, provided many wrong answers. His verbal responses were standardized on tape, and each protest was coordinated to a particular voltage level on the shock generator. Now, as teacher, you were seated in front of this impressive-looking instrument, the shock generator. Its essential feature is a line of switches that goes from 15 volts to 450 volts, and a set of verbal designations that goes from slight shock to moderate shock, strong shock, very strong shock, intense shock, extreme intensity shock, and finally XXX, danger severe shock. Your job, the experimenter explains to you, is the word pair test. If he gets each answer correctly, fine, you move on to the next pair. But if he makes a mistake, you are instructed to give him an electric shock, starting with 15 volts and you increase the shock one step on each error. That is incorrect. This one will be 195 volts. The learner was hidden from the teacher by a partition. Of course, this was all a simulation. Nothing was really happening. But the learner made very convincing sounds of pain as the shocks increased. This will be at 3.30. And Milgram found, surprisingly and rather horrifyingly, that the majority of people would actually go right to the very highest level if there was some pressure from a man in a white coat who said things like... It's absolutely essential that you continue. Continue, please. In fact, about 65% of the people who he, was, he studied, who were normal volunteers from the ordinary population, actually gave the maximum number of volts. This man was one of those 65%. This one will be 195 volts. The correct one. Let me out of here. Slow. Dance. Let me out of here. Why are you bothering me? Let me out of here. You have no right to keep me here. Let me out. Let me out of here. Let me out. Continue, please. Let me out of here. Why are you bothering me? Go on. Let me out. responsible for it. Red. That is incorrect. This will be at 3.30. The correct phrase is rich Let me out of boy. Here. Let me out of here. My heart's bothering me. Let me out, I tell you. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. You have no right to hold me here. The next phrase is Let fast. Me Let me out. Let me out. Let me out of here. Let me Bird, out. Bird, car, out. train, plane. Eventually, the learner pretended to be unconscious. Continue, teacher. That is incorrect. This will be 345. The correct answer is fast bird. What we learned from that experiment is that people will actually do an awful lot 
uh, when they're put under pressure from authority figures. And the problem is, of course, that when we obey the unjust authority figure, the person who gives us immoral commands, then, of course, awful things can go wrong. The ASH experiment is one of psychology's oldest and most popular pieces of research. A volunteer is told that he's taking part in a visual perception test. What he doesn't know is that the other participants are actors and he's the only person taking part in the real test, which is actually about group conformity. Please begin. The experiment you'll be taking part in today involves the perception of line length. Your task will be simply to look at the line here on the left and indicate which of the three lines on the right is equal to it in length. So, for example... If you the actors have been told to match the wrong lines. The volunteer will be monitored to see if he gives the correct answer or if he goes along with the opinion of the group and gives the wrong answer. In the first test, the correct answer is to... Uh, one. 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 Two. One. Once again, the correct answer is two. Three. 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 The ASH experiment has been repeated many times, and the results have been uh, supported again and again. We will conform to the group. Again, we're very social creatures. We're very much aware of what the people around us think. Uh, we want to be liked. We don't want to be seen to rock the boat, so we will go along with the group. Even if we don't believe what people are saying, we'll still go along. One. 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 Group dynamics is one of the most powerful forces in human psychology. Uh, one.